Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the selection tree in Navisworks. If the selection tree is not already open on your screen, go to the Home tab, then click on Selection Tree. This button toggles the selection tree off and on. Click on the pin to keep the selection tree menu open. Selection tree has four tabs at the bottom. Standard, Compact, Properties, and Sets. Standard shows each file that makes up the Navisworks file, broken down by layers down to the smallest individual item. Compact shows minimal layers for each file. Properties sorts each object by properties, and sets show selection sets and search sets that someone has manually created with this particular file. Looking in the standard tab, one can see all the files incorporated into this model. With Columbia project models, you'll often see design architectural, MEP and structural models, and subcontractor steel and MEP models, often broken out by floor. Clicking on each file highlights the items in that file. Architectural, MEP, PV array, structural design. You can also highlight an item to find out which layer it's on. Like this yellow box in the front of the building. Make sure the selection tool is active. Click on it. You can see it's part of the MEP design model. First floor, fire alarm devices, electric alarm bell diagrammatic, hopefully. This can be helpful in determining whether something is an issue or whether it's just a diagrammatic representation by the design team. It can also help you identify details about an item. This overhead door in the architectural model is shown to be an overhead rolling door that's 96 inches by 101 inches. Always remember that what you see in the model does not supersede what we own in the contract documents. Reference the contract documents or a submittal for exact product information. You can always hit escape to unselect everything. You can use the selection tree to change colors or transparencies of objects. Let's go to the server room of this project. The subcontractor and design models are different shades of yellow and hard to distinguish, so I'll change the color of the subfiles. Select all the subcontractor files that you want to change to the same color. Got the electrical and the light fixtures here. Right click, override item, override color, and the color menu pops up. Click on the color you want to change it to and then OK. Hit escape and you'll see that the electrical models, the subcontractor models, changed to orange. All the things that are remaining in yellow are on from the design model. You can also change object transparencies. I want to see what's above the ceiling. Click on the ceiling. You can see it's a compound ceiling, ACT, two by two. Right click, override item, override transparency, adjust, Hit OK, Escape, and you can see through the ceiling to what's above. Sometimes it can be really helpful to turn off a model. There's a lot of extra pipe up here, which is probably in the design model, design MEP model. So I am going to right click on the design MEP model, go down to hide, and this looks much cleaner now. You can see the duct in green, the mechanical piping in blue, and then the electrical items in orange. The yellow light that's still remaining is from the architectural file. When a file or parts of a file are hidden, it will show in gray in the selection tree. Thank you. 